during Sandy, it was just horrific. It looked like a bomb went off. A tremendous amount of water, a lot of mud, a lot of debris. There was no power. You couldn't get cell service. People freezing, people losing food, no electricity. I would never thought in my lifetime to see something like that. Global Green made a commitment at the Clinton Global Initiative this past year to install solar panels on five sites in the New York region that was affected by Hurricane Sandy. Rockway Beach Surf Club. It started as a cultural space where we would host events for community members. There's still a number of places in the yard where you can see where the water line was. Once we got it cleaned up, it evolved very quickly into a full-blown relief center that facilitated 5,000 volunteers over two and a half months. It took on a life of its own very quickly. Global Green came down here to the Rockways after the hurricane looking for locations that would be prime candidates for receiving solar. We wanted to make sure that they have the capacity next time around, uh, if and when the unfortunate event that this happens. Today we're installing a five kilowatt system here on the roof, and we're also putting in an inverter which supplies emergency backup power. We do expect that it'll offset 100% of their need here. We're helping the grid is becoming a more balanced grid and enabling you to have power when there are outages would still be able to function at a pretty normal level without having to have a generator. We'll have lights, we'll have some refrigeration, we'll have a place where you can charge cell phones. It's a lifeline. We're here today with the support of our good friends at IKEA and the New York Department of Parks and Recreation celebrating the selection of the Red Hook Recreation Center as the recipient of our first official Solar for Sandy installation. We've been doing solar power advocacy and also working on solar projects for over 15 years. And it's these kinds of centers that are the hub of the community in an emergency like a hurricane. One of the things we do at IKEA, we're really committed to sustainability. We want to be 100% renewable energy by 2020. And we also want to be a good community partner. So we just think that putting um, solar panels and having a solar installation on the Red Hook Recreational Center fits perfectly with what IKEA wants to do when it comes to renewable energy. As the climate warms and as we begin to deal with these very intense weather events, we are going to have to figure out how to become more resilient people and communities. And we think that solar energy and clean energy in general is a big part of that. I've lived in Red Hook for over 30 years. You know, I came here when I was a kid and now they're going to utilize it to help the community. The solar power is just going to be fantastic in this neighborhood.